Brian from iWire, and we have Bucky's RS to WX harness here on the table. We're about ready to get started uh, for his, and something you guys can opt for if you buy, if you have us merge the harness, is we actually have brand new WX harnesses for this process or other kind of custom fun projects using a two liter WX as your base. So all brand new and pre-wired for ABCS. So he'll be all ready to go. We're gonna kind of give you a time lapse of how we're gonna do it. No, we're not gonna show you how to do it, but you can get the idea of what we do here and then you can have us do it professionally for you. So the first step is that we took the two harnesses, laid them on top of each other. We have this nice little table that we use to piece everything together, make sure it comes out nice in the end. Next step will be to start putting the wires together, splice the new into the old, and then get rid of the rest of the old and hook up the ends. So you see for the first half of the merge, we're actually going to solder. There's a lot of debate about solder versus crimp. The reason that we use solder in this area is because it's a big bundle and it's inside the cabin. It's not gonna vibrate, it's not exposed to heat, and the biggest thing is it keeps the bundle size as small as you can make it. Um, for any of the larger terminals, we're going to crimp, but you'll see for all the small gauge, uh, 20 gauge, straight one to one, 20 gauges, we're gonna uh, solder all of these to make sure that the bundle stays nice and small, and don't worry, they're not gonna fail. A good crimp and a good solder are equally as good. Just depends on application. <laughs> So where are we at now? Big chunk of it's done. Uh, still need to add in, finish up the DCCD wiring. So for all swaps we do, we preset the DCCD hookups. So if you ever do that in the future, just call us. It's totally plug and play. Um, outside of that, just basic finish up stuff to get flashing working and OBD2 and all the key components. Now that we've wired up the key components, the original RS harness is still intact, all the fusing relays, everything else is now going to control the WRX ECU and engine plugs, but all the fusing and key components are still from the RS. We're just putting in the WRX ECU into the harness.
this method to merge is better than just about any other method to get your engine in your new, your new engine in your old car because we're gonna leave all of the RS interior as it was. So all the fusing, the relays, the boxes, the cluster, the AC are all exactly as they were before. We are just surgically installing the WRX ECU and then tying all of its components back into the RS. If you want it to work and everything to work as it did from the factory, this is how you do it. Oh, here you go, all done. Um, don't be fooled by a time lapse. We don't, didn't show you mama's secret sauce, but the next step and final step is to check it and ensure that we got it all right, and then we can install it in his car. do this yourself this is not sufficient resource that's step one step two would be make sure you have the factory service manuals make sure you have everything that you need and that you have figured out what you're doing from start to finish before you cut a single wire if you quit part way through and then call us most likely you're going to need to buy two new harnesses so even if it seems a little expensive to have us do it the first time it's gonna be a lot more expensive to have us do it later if we have to start over. So that's the warning. We make it look easy, but that's because we've done, this will be number 1500. So take that into perspective as you decide how you're going to approach this project. And keep in mind also that RSWRX is about as relatively straightforward as it gets. If you have anything beyond that, it's going to be a lot more complicated. So. You, that's your warning. Oh baby, 1500 for Bucky. We're ready, let's do it. <laughs> 